This week, the University of Arizona will graduate 6,700 students. Among them are 112 student athletes. Arizona Athletics says the average grade point average among athletes at the U of A is 3.08. Today, we introduce you to Lindsay Mollica, a women's basketball player who's applying to medical school. Lindsay Mollica has been at the U of A for four years and she's made the most out of every minute. A biology major with a 4.0 who's earned a spot on the women's basketball team. A Minnesota native who remembers playing basketball at the age of four. A high school standout, Lindsay was strategic about her choice for college. At the end of my senior year, when I tore my knee up and basically everything I had planned for basketball fell through, I decided that at the end of the day, academics are most important, and so I wanted to find a school that I wanted to be at for school, um, which happened to be the U of A. It's far away from home to where I wanted to try something new, but I have family in Phoenix nearby also, which was comforting, and they have a super good pre-medical program. So all of those factors kind of led me here, and then from there, I you know worked on until I got to the team. Though Lindsay wasn't a starter, her enthusiasm carried weight. If my part of the team is making sure that they feel motivated and encouraged and that makes them play better, then I'm going to do that position. And, you know, sometimes I play too, and if I'm needed that way, I'll do whatever it takes for me to help the team in any way that I can. And just seeing my teammates do well gets me fired up, and that's why you can see me on the side of the court screaming and jumping. And it's just, I love these girls, and, and being able to cheer them on is something that I really cherish. A walk-on rewarded with a scholarship. Uh, this says you embody all the things this program strives to be. You have earned a full scholarship. <gasps> that must have been a surreal experience for you. Yeah, that was really cool, especially because I wasn't expecting it. You know, I just, I work hard and I don't ever expect things to come to me because you never want to assume things. And so when it happened, I didn't know about it. My teammates didn't know about it either. So it was kind of cool to see how they reacted as well. And everybody got so excited and... It was really, really special moment. A team that stuck together. This year, the U of A hosted and won the Women's National Invitation Tournament, making program history, filling McHale Center, and putting the U of A women's team on the map. It's a legacy that Lindsay says is about more than basketball. How did you balance, especially this spring when so many people were watching women's basketball? How did you manage practice games and being a student who has a 4.0. Yeah, it's it's hard. It was especially hard when I first made the team because I was kind of being thrown into everything. Uh, but you'd be surprised how much time you have when you cut out little things. Like when I study, I make sure my phone's away. And when I eat, instead of taking an hour and a half, I take 30 minutes and make, do dishes quick or things like that. Um, you just learn to be really disciplined and very organized. You know, right after practice, I get changed and I, I go to wherever I need to be next. And it's just learning to cut back on those little things that distract you. Do you feel that you were prepared and supported while you were here as a student athlete? Definitely, yeah. Uh, everybody that's been around me has been so supportive. I mean, we have CATS Academics, which is super helpful. I know that if I ever need a tutor or anything like that, that they have all of those opportunities for me. And plus, Coach really puts an emphasis on academics. And so I know that she understands when we have tests and things like that. And she's very understanding and supportive of all of those things. And Lindsay says Coach Adia Barnes holds the players accountable on and off the court. She definitely has high expectations for us and she wants us to be the best people we can be. So that's why she stresses school and, and community service and self-care and all those things because she wants us to be well-rounded, healthy women who are intelligent. And, you know, we even have meetings where we talk about how do you present yourself and, you know, the culture of the team and the branding of the team. And that's just helping us all grow into really well-respected adults. And that means making a difference, something Lindsay intends to do, a foundation set as a student athlete at the U of A. So I'm currently applying to medical school. Uh, it's about a year long process. I hope to eventually be a surgeon. That's what I'd like to do, though I don't wanna to be too close-minded. Everybody says once you get to medical school, you kind of find what your niche is. And so, but that's kind of where I'm going and because I think the body is so fascinating. I fell in love with it when I took anatomy in high school. And then from there, it's just also the personal side. You know, you can do research and stuff like that, which I've done and I do enjoy, but you don't get that personal interaction and I don't get to see the people I'm helping with research. And that's why I love medicine as a doctor because you get that personal interaction. And especially as a surgeon, I get to see 
myself fix them basically to say and to see that immediate change is just so cool and rewarding to me. What would you like people to know about student athletes like yourself and what it's meant to you to be here at the University of Arizona? I think a lot of people don't realize how special student athletes are in other aspects of their life. Yes, they're all amazing athletes and that is really cool, but they're also doing other amazing things with internships and academics and just they really are well-rounded people and they're all kind and a lot of us are super approachable and I just think that a lot of people don't recognize that. They see us as just athletes who play a sport and you know we're the jocks, but there's really some special people here and I just hope that people begin to realize who we are as a whole.